the Truth or Girls. Hi everyone, it's Truth or Girl Sonia here. The entertainment industry scandal, which started with allegations against Harvey Weinstein, is no longer limited to Hollywood. I just want to let you know this is not only in Hollywood, it's like those accusations that started with Harvey Weinstein and spread to other people. We're having the same thing happening here in Quebec. We have a big entertainment industry right here in Quebec and especially in Montreal. And um, the same deal is, is happening here now. So I have some notes here and I just want to tell you who are some of the people who are involved. There is one who is called uh, Gilles Perron, who has been accused of uh, sexual misconduct. So this is a radio announcer from uh, FM 93 who has now been uh, fired from his, his work on the radio uh, following allegations by a woman called Catherine Desbiens, who is a colleague of his, who had been working with him since 2013, who said she had been targeted with harassment, um, unwanted touching, and insistent advances, and that this had gone on for several years. She came out and made these allegations, and after that, three other women came out and said that they'd also been uh, the victims of harassment by the same uh, Gilles Perron. So that's one. And uh, another one is Eric Salvaille, who is the founder of the production house Salvaille et Compagnie, and the wardrobe and makeup artist Marco uh, Berardini has come out and made accusations against Eric Salvai. So he's basically accusing him of sexual misconduct, saying he had made advances on him. And since Berardini has come forward, other people have followed suit as well, saying that uh, they also were the victims of some form of harassment by Eric Salvai. So already for Eric Salvai, the consequences of this have been pretty dire. Um, basically, everyone who was uh, having any dealings with him business-wise has put an end to their contract, so including all TV and radio networks. They had a show which was called En Mode Salvay, and uh, this, this show has been suspended. Uh, also, his involvement with the Gemini Awards has been suspended. And his show Eric et les Fantastiques on Rouge FM has also been suspended. And plus, all these big companies that were work, working with him, um, you know, in marketing as affiliates, they've all cut him off, including uh, Metro Grocers, McDonald's, Transat, and uh, Les Fonds de la Solidarité FTQ. Uh, and in fact, no criminal accusation has actually been brought against him. Like, he's not even charged with anything. Uh, but just based on what people are saying, basically his entire empire has crumbled. And here's another one, Gilbert Rozon, the president of our Just for Laughs festival. Montreal is very famous for having a lot of free open access public festivals. And uh, Just for Laughs is one of the biggest ones. And this is the president of the Just for Laughs festival. So it had been revealed in our local newspaper, La Presse, that Eric Salvay had been accused, I guess informally though, of sexual misconduct against several men. And meanwhile, another journal called Le Devoir had published an article revealing that nine women had made accusations against Gilbert Rozon. So to what has happened to Gilbert Rozon since all this has come out? Well, he has basically uh, quit everything. He's had to quit. He has quit his post as president of Just for Laughs. And he has quit his post as vice president of the Chamber of Commerce of Montreal. So yes, a couple of really big producers, entertainment people here, right, right here in Quebec, have been accused of sexual misconduct. And we also have a number of people who've been accused in previous years, going from 81 to 2016, from everything, for everything from uh, sexual harassment to child pornography and pedophilia um, and it seems like now that the silence was broken with Harvey Weinstein now, now that 40 women uh, at the last count have made accusations against Weinstein now more and more people are coming out against different people in the entertainment industry in America and um, also here in Quebec and even in Europe the models are now coming out and saying that they've also been victimized at work over there and it seems like maybe finally the tide is turning. So I'm happy to see this coming out because it's been a long time coming that this has been going on with impunity for decades, probably as long as the entertainment industry has existed. 
And finally now, the victims are, are able to come out, say what's been done, and, and stand up for themselves. And maybe now finally a stop can be put to this abuse. And some of these people can fall from those high places where they had thought they were untouchable. So, well, let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for listening to me. And thank you very much for your support on Patreon because, well, here on YouTube, it's not good. Uh, adpocalypse uh, still happening. And they, what they tend to do these days to me is automatically demonetize every video I make, including like really innocuous videos about my son and things like that. They just take, they take the ad off. I have to appeal and they only put it back on after, after the fact when I, I'm not having any views anymore. So really, um, if I'm doing this, if I'm still doing this, it's just because of the support from viewers like yourself. So if you want to go to Patreon and pledge any amount, if it's a dollar or whatever it is, I really appreciate it because that's what's keeping me going. So thank you for your support and thanks for listening to me and I'll see you next time.